Not long ago, I made a video talking about the different variations of Honda's J35 V6 engine with VCM, variable cylinder management, where it shuts down from six cylinders down to three cylinders. In this video, I'm going to talk about the J35 V6 engine that do not include VCM. Because VCM was incorporated into Honda six-cylinder engines about 20 years ago, I'm only going to look back 20 years of J35 V6 engines that do not have VCM. So let's get started. Let's start with the J35 A6 V6 engine that was on the 2005 to 2010 Honda Odyssey the lower trims, LX and EX model, whereas the higher trim, EXL and Touring, those engines does have VCM. So the lower trim version of the Honda Odyssey during this time does not have VCM. Next would be the J35A8 engine. That's on the 2005 to 2008 Acura RL, which was the flagship sedan at the time, and also 2007 to 2008 Acura TL. Next engine would be the J35A9 that was on the first generation Honda Ridgeline, which was a unibody pickup truck from Honda. The next engine on my list is J35S1. That was on the 2004 to 2007 Saturn View, which is an SUV. Now Saturn is a division of General Motors, and that's when they first formed this relationship where the Saturn SUV would use the Honda engine. Currently, that relationship still continues. The EV, the Honda Prologue, is actually built by General Motors. So this relationship still continues today. Next engine would be the J35Z3. This engine is exclusive with a 6 b manual that was on the 2008 to 2012 Honda Accord Coupe. Again, coupe only, and 6 b manual. This is one of the most desirable cars that Honda produced. V6 and 6 b manual. That was a great combination. Next engine would be the J35Z5 that was on the 2009 to 2014 Honda Ridgeline. Next engine would be the J35Z6 and that was on the 2009 to 2014 Acura TL. Now some of the TLs during this period of time have the J37 V6 engine. And we'll talk a little bit about that later in the video. Now the J35Z6 is also on the 2010 and 2014 Acura TLX. Now the TLX is sort of the replacement for the Acura TL in the Acura lineup. The last version of the J35 V6 engine without VCM was the J35 Y2. And that was on the 2013 to 2017 Honda Accord Coupe with the 6 b manual. Now this is an Earth Dream engine, so it's a direct injection version of the J35 V6. So this was the last J35 V6 engine without VCM, variable cylinder management. Next engine I like to talk about is the J37 engines. Now, some manufacturers would take the easy route by just making the stroke longer to increase displacement 
from 3.5 liters to 3.7 liters. However, the J37 V6 engine is a little bit different. Both the bore and the stroke is different between the J35 and the J37. Therefore, the actual cylinders are different. So why did Honda create the J37 V6 engine? which does not have VCM, by the way. They created it because the J37 V6 engine is actually lighter than the J35 V6 engine. There was more aluminum used in the engine, so therefore the engine is lighter and offers better performance. Now the J37 V6 engine is an Acura exclusive. So you don't find that on Honda brand models, just Acura only. So here are the J37 V6 engines, starting with J37A1, which was on the 2007 to 2013 Acura MDX. Next would be the J37A2 that was on the 2009 to 2012 Acura RL. The next engine is J37A4. While I was researching this, I wonder what happened to J37A3. Sometimes it seems like Honda skipped a number, which makes me wonder what happened to that version. So J37A4 was on the 2009 to 2014 Acura TL. And the last version of the J37 engine was the J37A5. And that was on the 2010 to 2013 Acura ZDX. That ZDX name has resurfaced now as the EV for Acura, which I talked about earlier, is actually made by General Motors. But the first generation ZDX was kind of an oddball. It was actually an Acura version of the Honda Accord Cross Tour, but Acura styled it completely different to make it look like a fastback SUV which is popular now, but back then, it was a very odd looking vehicle. Why would you make an SUV and slope back the roof to reduce cargo space? In the name of styling. It didn't make sense back then, but I think Honda was ahead of its time by creating that design. So that's my list of all the J35 and J37 V6 engines from Honda that does not have variable cylinder management, VCM, where it remains in six cylinder mode all the time and does not shut down from six cylinder to four cylinder and to three cylinders. V6 all the time. All of these engines are in the past. Today, if you want to buy new, you can't buy a J35 V6 engine from Honda without variable cylinder management. So what can you do? You can still buy the J35 Y5 that's on the Acura MDX or the J35 Y6 that's on the Ridgeline and Odyssey and just get a VCM muzzler or similar devices where it prevents the engine from going into VCM mode. So you have six cylinder power all the time. By adding a muzzler type of device, you can still enjoy your Honda J35 V6 the way it was meant to be. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you find it informative 
and I'll see you at the next video.